Okay, so I've just popped my um, my hygrometer on. So let's have a look at some of the readings that we're recording here. So it's I've only just turned it on, so this is going to calibrate over the next few minutes or so. So it's 10.8 degrees, and we can see at the moment it's 78.2% relative humidity and rising. Now, yes, that's incredibly high, but our air is only 10.7 degrees C. So relative humidity is an expression of how much moisture vapor the air can hold at that temperature. Now, at the moment, we can see our critical reading is the one at the bottom here. So it's 7.81 grams per cubic meter, which is reasonably low. We'd, we'd consider the air to be quite dry. Yeah, that is showing it to be really quite high. If this temperature was up at 15, 16 degrees, it would still be 7.82 grams. That relative humidity will probably be down to 55, 60 or so. So there's way too many things on Facebook and um, YouTube, in my view, that just solely relies on relative humidity. It, the R is the misleading bit. The H is the humidity. Um, and this is A for absolute humidity. This is the A, the absolute humidity is the more accurate one. This is actually how much moisture vapor is in the air, in a cubic meter of air, regardless of the temperature. If it goes up, relative humidity will go down. If temperature goes down, relative humidity will go up. But that's only part of the story. So let's see what's happening in the brickwork of the walls. Now these have been saturated by extinguishment water. I'm in a kind of a basement level here. It's uh, built into a hillside. So the fire was on the first floor. So the, the rooms directly above have been saturated and this has all come down. So I'll drill into the wall and we'll see what the, uh, what the temperatures and, and humidities are doing in there. So, so the principal reason for doing this is to ascertain that once we get this plasterboard off, are we likely to need um, dryers in here to dry the block work? More than likely, yes, for upstairs, but this is more just for a demonstration here now. So we can see that our temperature is 11 degrees and it's 87 point, um, oh, pressing the button, 87.4. Come on, what's going on with the zoom? Okay, so it's back now, sorry about that. So it's now 87.1, 87.0. So it's actually falling ever so slightly. And we can also see our grams per cubic meter is falling ever so slightly, uh, 50, 0.54, 0 0.53, 0 0.52. So the wall is actually reasonably dry. Um, again, relative humidity shows it to be sky high. And if, if the temperature was up to 20 odd degrees and was 86, it would be saturated. We would probably be looking at 15 grams or so here, but it's not, it's really quite cool. So another thing to potentially consider, not so much when it's as dramatic as this, but on a day when it's more, uh, you're, you're dealing with day-to-day -day condensation in a property, is what's the outside doing? Because at some points in time, it might be beneficial to open a window, other times it's not. So let's just have a look at that as a comparison. So I'm outside now and it's a miserable wet old day. It's actually stopped raining, but you can actually feel from inside to outside that it does feel a bit more muggy. So it's 11.9 degrees. Um, was it 10.4 inside? Relative humidity is 96%, but our grams are absolute moisture content. Oh, it is 10.29, so it's, it's, it's a lot more moisture in the actual air and that, that's increasing as is our relative humidity, as is our temperature. So on a day like today, if you've got a condensation issue indoors, you would not want to be opening the window because opening the window, what you're actually going to do is you're going to let a lot more moisture laden air into the property. This is why having some of the, um, I'll just keep on there while I chatter. This is why having some of the um, indoor hygrometers that tell you what the outside temperatures and dew points and stuff are is, is quite essential because using that basic information, if outside is drier than indoors, open your windows, it'll help dry your house. If outside is, is more damp than indoors, keep the windows closed because you'll, you'll, you'll be adding to the moisture vapor inside the property.